Three social workers from southeast Kansas were honored Friday for their work in tracking down a child who was in danger. They are tonight's Sunflower Heroes. As a part of Child Abuse Prevention Month, SRS officials, along with Kansas First Lady Mary Brownback, placed blue pinwheels in front of the State House to draw attention to the issue of child abuse. At that same ceremony, three social workers were honored for going above and beyond while doing their jobs for the state. They spent three days searching for an 11-month-old girl who had been taken by her mother after a judge had ordered the baby removed from the home. Because the baby's mother was addicted to drugs, a judge granted SRS permission to take the baby into state custody. The social workers searched for the mother and baby in fields, in drug houses, and in various other locations across a three-county area. Off and on, the mother stashed the baby at unknown locations and picked her up later. They scoured the three-county area for 48 hours. Eventually, law enforcement got a warrant to use cell phone tracking technology to pinpoint the whereabouts of the mother. The baby was eventually found with the mother in a drug house. The baby is now said to be doing well and is being cared for by a foster family. SRS Deputy Secretary Jim Callinger said, quote, We're so proud of the dedication our social workers showed as they searched for the baby. They set aside everything else and worked tirelessly to make sure the baby was safe. SRS officials say since July 1st of last year, Kansas SRS caseworkers have followed up on nearly 19,000 reports of a child in need of care, and of those, 68% were determined to be reports of abuse or neglect. And every month we're asking you to vote for your favorite Sunflower Hero. Certified Transmission will donate $100 to the charity of the winner's choice. Just go to kansasfirstnews.com and click on the Sunflower Heroes tab to vote.